Welcome to What's Ruined, presented by Community Coffee. I'm Erin Summers alongside linebacker Demario Davis. Demario, last week against Tampa Bay, defensively you guys forced four turnovers, fumble recovery by you, and a 20-yard return. Tyree Matthews said that it was the best play of the day. What was going in through your mind during that moment? Well, I mean, we had been doing a good job of stopping the run um, before that play happened, and then I think that drive, they had hit, hit it like a couple. And that was another play that was looking like it was about to spring free. Mm -hmm. And so I was a little frustrated. Honestly, I was like, ah, they done hit another play. I didn't know where it hit at. And so I was just running to the ball. And then uh, J.A. made a great play of punching the ball out. Mm -hmm. I don't even know how he, how he got around him and hit it back into the field. And I just saw the ball. So I grabbed it. And it was initially was just to cover the ball up because I thought it was people around. But I realized I had a little space. And, at that point, I was just trying to score a touchdown. You didn't have space. You were running people over. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I got a lot of props. I think it's a little, uh, it's a little ru running back genetics that's in there <laughs> from back in the day. Um, I mean, I've been playing this game for 12 years, and I ain't yeah. got no touchdown yet. So, like, I want a, I want a defensive touchdown. So I was really trying to get there. So I think anytime <laughs> I, I get the ball, like, I'm, that's what's on my mind. Like, I got to score. Okay. Yeah. You've been playing for 12 years. You have 112 tackles already. How do you continue to just elevate your game each season? Um, honestly, I think, like, the biggest part is, is God. I feel like I can't really put it into words for people to explain. Because um, at one point, I was ready to retire. And I think it's been God that's just really been powering in me and pushing me forward. Um, but I got an excellent team. I got a lot of people around me who like help me keep my body up. They help me eat the right things. Um, like we, we we plan out the whole season before the season starts, and even during the season, like we're constantly tweaking the plan, tweaking the process. And so, I think it's just it goes a lot into how I customize so that I can get optimal performance over and over and over. Mm -hmm. And um, hopefully, I can just keep doing that. Do you plan out your pregame fits before the season too? <laughs> <laughs> uh, not before. I mean, I, I try to leave a little space week to week, but I do try to follow like certain trends. Uh -huh. um, I think the guy that I work with who does my suits, he's the best in the business. Um, he really is paying attention to all the details. And uh, I think people see it on like a, on a macro level, but like if you really look at it on a micro level, it's, it's a lot of details that's in there. And that's where it's, that's where it's really at. It's all in the detail. Before every game, you do the pregame huddle, the speech with all the guys. What goes into that? Where, where did it start? Uh, man, I've always just been a talker when I was a little kid. You know, people told me I talked too much. Um, when I first got here, um, I saw Drew doing the huddle and I saw how circular it was. And so I, I really, just from a distance, enjoyed it. But when he uh, got hurt one week and he, he asked me to do it, um, and I just take it so seriously. I, I just I just always wanted to honor that space, honor it for my teammates, honor it for the organization, honor it for the city. And so it's like a lot of meditation that goes into it. It's like preparing a sermon mm -hmm. um, because I'm, I'm, I'm spiritually trying to get my teammates um, in a place that mentally they're locked in with the game, but also to like exhort them and get them excited and get them pumped up and, and, and understand who they are and who we are. Um, so it's just a lot going into that process. What's it gonna take week 18, last game of the regular season against the Falcons, a team that beat you guys earlier this year? Uh, I think you just gotta find that switch. You gotta find a switch. Mentally, you have to have that thing that takes you into another space, mm -hmm. takes you into another dimension. Um, you know, you put the preparation in, but when you step on the field, you have to have something that brings that intensity to another level that they can't keep up with or match. And I think anytime you're playing a rival, it's always there. But also, when, when that rival beats you, um, it's an opportunity to go and get your lick back. Right. And so, like, that's what you got to have. Hopefully we can do that this weekend. Yeah, got looking, to. Looking forward to it. Thank you so much for joining uh, me. I appreciate you. For guys. What's Ruined with Demario Davis.